Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy. I'm back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing one of the seven units that recently got their Extreme Z Awakening on Global from that mass EZA event. And we're starting here with the Tech Nova Shenron, who I've personally been super excited for because the Shadow Dragon Saga team is actually one of my favorite teams in the game. And it's a very limited category. And uh, this guy is just such a good addition to that team, so I'm super happy that he's finally here. And to start, we're going to quickly go over his details. So for anybody that already knows what he does, then feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute, minute and a half, and we'll get into the gameplay, alright? So starting here with his stats, he actually has uh, a lot of attack for a non dual confess unit, 16,600 and 81 at rainbow status is very very good his leader skill is tech types key plus three hp attack and defense plus a hundred percent his super attack is flame shot which causes supreme damage and raises attack for six turns and his passive is key plus three attack and defense plus 90 percent shadow dragon saga category allies attack and defense plus 30 percent so not only can he hold his own damage wise and also defensively a little bit he also is a very very good support for his own category which is amazing and uh, as far as the hidden potential skills i went with 20 crit and six additional you guys obviously can do whatever you want i know a lot of people love to go for the uh level three dodge which i'm not a huge fan of but i get it and also links shocking speed gentlemen cold judgment gt shadow dragons and Shattering the Limit, and he's only in one category at the moment, Shadow Dragon Saga. So that is the unit right there, and let's jump into the gameplay. Here is the team. Now unfortunately, this dude is actually on the second rotation, and normally for these showcases, I would actually reset and try to get him on the first rotation, but you guys have no idea how hard it was to find an Omega Shenron friend. It took me like at least five or six resets, I was sitting there for like 10 minutes, just like jumping into the mode and then going out, resetting, trying to get another friend, couldn't find one and I kept doing that. And uh, when I finally found one with two dupes, I was like, yo, this is the one, man. This is it. I'm not going to try again because who knows how many resets it's going to take to find another friend. So uh, we're just going to have to wait until he comes around on the second slot, which didn't take too long uh we did finish the first stage right here finished off by the super saiyan fours no surprise there and now we have the nova shenron on rotation linked with uh with omega shenron which is good since they do share the shadow dragons uh link for 15 percent attack and also i believe two key as well we do also have the support from the pan and uh, we have 111,000 defense, which is very respectable. He doesn't stack defense, unfortunately, so it's pretty much going to stay around 100,000. But uh, still, not bad. Okay, so I'll just give him like one or two orbs. He's already at full uh, key right there. Omega Shenron, as much as I love him, has really bad defense. Even at rainbow status, only at 57,000 with the supports. So definitely don't want him to take too many attacks. And let's see what this... Nova Shenron can do. Alright, so we're at 1.56 mil. And we're gonna crit for 1.8. And we're tanking really well. 97 damage, 82 damage. Uh, that's quite impressive, guys. That's quite impressive. I know the number is not super high. Alright, but you gotta keep in mind that he's actually a support unit, right? He's a guy that is a really good support that can also do some respectable damage. I kind of think of him as like the tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that got an Extreme Z Awakening as well. So like, you know, respectable for damage, but still you're mainly going to use him as a support unit. That's kind of what I think of this guy as. So if you think about it that way, then he's actually very good for, for support, right? So uh, not a bad showing right there. And also he does stack defense. Oh no, sorry, not, not defense. He doesn't stack defense. He stacks attack with uh, every super up to six turns. So next turn, um, I mean, we won't have the support from the pan. So maybe his attack will be a little bit lower, but over time it does go higher. So I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this video, we can get up, get him up to like 2 million plus attack. So now we have the double Shenrons 
uh, or I mean, I guess triple Shenrons, but double Omega Shenron and then the the Nova Shenron. Um, I'm really not feeling all these attacks in the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is actually put Nova here. And we have 98,000 defense now, so around 100,000 without any extra supports. And I think he should actually be okay without any items. I was thinking about doing like a... Uh, what do you call it? Like a Whis or something like that? Actually, I don't have Whis. Um, a... I would say call Icarus, right? But I don't think he needs it. Alright, 1.1 mil right there. And attack went up to about 1.5 mil. And we're still tanking for double digits, which is very, very good. So yeah, no items needed. If we get supered at the end, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but we probably won't die. And of course, we're not going for the completion here. This team is not gonna be able to beat the uh, legendary Goku event just because we don't have enough defensive units. But we'll go as far as we can in the video and then you'll pretty much have seen what you need to see from this guy. So I don't think it really matters if we complete it or not, right? But uh, you know, we're gonna go as far as we can. We're gonna go as far as we can, okay. So now we're going to see what these guys are going to do. Oh, we do have the active skills. Um, I'm not going to use them right now. We're going to save them. But uh, we do have the 24 key super. These guys get so much key. It's ridiculous. Yo, I still love these LR Super Saiyan 4s, man. Um, pretty much the only reason I'm going to be summoning for the Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Majin Vegeta Dual Dokkan Fest when that comes around because I really want dupes in my Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and these guys are featured on the two banners so yeah your boy probably will still be going in um, but personally I'm not like that hyped honestly for the Super Saiyan 2 Goku or you know the one that transforms into Super Saiyan 3 and also the Majin Vegeta as much as I would love to have them I still want to save most of my resources like my money for the uh, anniversary so yeah it's gonna be hard to budget the stones, I'm sure uh, we'll figure it out, but uh, I definitely want to get some extra dupes for the Super Saiyan 4s. That's my point. Okay, so we are on the third turn of this guy's appearance. I think he's already supered twice. We still don't have the pan on support or on rotation uh, this turn. So let's see what this guy gets up to now. Okay, so still tanking very well. 1.6 million now. All right, still building that attack. And he's been critting every single turn. We finally got additional. And uh, the additional did pretty decent damage too. Yeah, about 500k from the additional attack right there. And this team is actually holding up a lot better than I expected. Because aside from, you know, the Nova Shen run, and the Super Saiyan 4s are okay, but like, a lot of these units are quite um, untanky. What's the, what's the, what's the opposite of tanky? They're like, uh... Yeah, I can't think of the word right now, but you know what I mean, like they're not very tanky, right? So I'm surprised we're not taking as much damage um, as I thought we would. All right, can we finish him off here with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? Oh, so close. So close. All right, just don't super me, man. I mean, if you do super me, let me counter the super. We have that 70% chance. Damn, okay. So there we go. We're going to move on to Super Saiyan God now. Um, still going to save the active skill. I don't know what I'm saving it for, but we're going to save it. And this should about do it. And then I believe next turn we should have the pan on rotation, right? So we should have a couple supers under under our belt. Um, so a couple of attack boosts and also the extra support from the pan. Which uh, should give us maybe 2 million attack. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so I am definitely concerned about the supers now because a super on Omega or Pan is gonna hurt quite a bit. Even though they have about 60k now. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. If we get supered, if we die here, then it's just meant to be. And, you know, you guys get the idea of the Nova Shenron, almost a Sin Shenron, Nova Shenron, anyways. Okay, so 5.3k. Now we're starting to take some real damage. And 1.8 mil is the super. We get another super as well. Additional, no additional there. All right, so taking about 6k, and this one is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my god, 211k. All right, so let's just hope that the Sin Shenron or the Omega. Sorry, I keep getting these Shenrons mixed up. The Omega and the Pan can hold their own, just like keep us alive until we reach the next rotation, so I can heal up. Um. 
Yeah, 53k, okay, that's fine. And Pan should be taking around there too, maybe 60k. Her defense is only slightly lower than Omega's, which is kind of sad if you think about it. Oh, 40k, what? Wait, does she boost her defense on super? Let me check real quick, let me check real quick. Uh, Pan. Okay, um, no, she raises attack. Uh, no, her super raises attack for allies, but she doesn't get more defense, that's weird. How does she tank better than Omega Shenron? <laughs> okay, I don't get it. Um, so let's use the Princess Snake here. And that should allow us to at least survive until the next turn. There we go. And, uh, okay. Okay, we'll be good, we'll be good. I think what I want to do is at least get Pan to return one more time so that we can see Sin Shenron's, ah, oh, damn it, Nova Shenron's um, attack go up to over 2 million, and then I'll be satisfied, man. Whatever happens after that is fine. You know, I don't really care after that, but I just want to keep him alive until then. So let's do this, man, let's do this. We're gonna use some items if we have to. We'll probably have to, um, but uh, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. But I mean, if you guys stop watching the video here, at, like at this point, you should have a general idea of what he's all about, and I gotta say, he is quite impressive. Um, you know, right off the bat, like 1.5, 1.4 mil. And then, of course, providing the support along the way. Uh, ooh, you know what? Let's actually use... Oh, I didn't bring any ushers. Mmm, no ushers. Well, I mean, if I use an Icarus, we should still be good to go. And then we're gonna put the... Nova Shenron there, and he'll get that token attack, which is awesome, and uh, he's not going to super, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we shouldn't be taking any damage, even from a super, because we have the double, oh no, we only have the Icarus out, now. I was like, we have the double support, but that's not true, or the double, you know, item. Um, so just the Icarus, but still, it should be enough to keep us alive, and, okay, Nova Shenron goes up to 1.6 million. 1.6 million attack right there and if we get a crit we might actually be able to kill Goku maybe maybe not no okay and now we're getting supered <sighs> stay alive stay alive 170 okay that's cool that's cool we might not uh, be able to make it. How many attacks are there? The three more attacks, or four more attacks? Wait, three or four? I can't even tell. I think it's three. No, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, that's four. All right, we're we're still fine. We're still fine. And now we're gonna get back to the Nova Shen run. And can we get him to over two mil? Maybe, maybe not. I think we've stopped stacking attack, so maybe his cap with a single support is like 1.8 or so. Um, yeah, I think that's his. I think that's a cap. Okay, so 1.82 mil. Once again, support unit. I mean, that's higher still than the, you know, Omega Shenron. So, <laughs> I guess that's pretty good. And he is a support unit. Now, this team needs a 170% lead, man. I don't know. At some point, maybe we'll finally get a 170% lead for this team. And then, you know, our boy Nova Shenron will get his 2 million attack. But for now, with just the pan on rotation linked with Omega Shenron, 1.82 mil does seem to be the cap for him. So, uh, okay. There's the showcase, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. It probably went a little bit longer than it needed to, but that's totally cool. I'm sure you guys are okay with it. I mean, if you're still watching, then I'm sure you're okay with it. And, uh... You know, more showcases coming soon. I do think I'm going to showcase at least a few of the seven units that got EZAs. Maybe all of them at some point. We'll have to see. But uh, that's the showcase for Nova Shenron. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. I think that for a support, um, like a very good support for the category, he is awesome. Like, he is really awesome for the damage he, he does, the support he provides, and uh, also doing a bit of tanking as well. Obviously, not anywhere close to the best tank in the game, but respectable, man. 100,000 defense, it's still good enough, in my opinion. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that 
big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.